Aura Components Basics. Handle actions with controllers. Learning objectives. After completing this unit, you will be able to create a client-side controller to handle user actions, read values from component attributes, read values from user interface controls and your component, write controller code and JavaScript that changes the user interface. Handling actions with controllers. Up to now, we've worked only with XML style markup. Up to now, the only way to have our components output change was to change that markup. Up to now, our components didn't react to user input. Up to now, we haven't written any JavaScript. That all changes in this unit. To get started, let's look at a very simple component and imagine what it needs to do to be able to handle its simple behavior. This is Hello Message Interactive, and it's hard to imagine a simpler component that does something. It's a bit of static text, a currently blank message, and two buttons. Here's the code. This should look familiar. All we've really done is added two lightning colon button components to Hello Message. When you click a button, the message of the day is updated. Well, not quite. If you've already entered the code and tried it yourself, you've noticed that when you click either of the buttons, you get an error message. We'll be the first to admit that not every error message you'll see in Lightning Components is as helpful as you might hope, but this one is. It says that there's no controller action named handle click. Where does handle click come from? It comes from an expression that we assigned to the onClick attribute on each of the two lightning colon button tags. Given that this is a button, you can probably guess that the onClick attribute is how you assign a behavior to the button for when it's clicked. But what have we assigned? An expression. Open curly bracket bang c dot handle click close curly bracket. That's maybe a bit mysterious. It's actually pretty simple. Just like the v dot message expression from earlier, c dot handle click is a value provider. C with the property handle click. C is the value provider for the component's client-side controller, and handle click is a function defined in that controller. So, open curly bracket, bang, C dot handle click, close curly bracket, is a reference to an action handler in the component's controller. Uh, what is a controller? Whoops, a controller is basically a collection of code that defines your app's behavior when things happen, whereby things, we mean user input, timer, and other events, data updates, and so on. If you look up model view controller on any number of developer sites, you'll get various definitions. For our purposes, for lightning components, a controller is a resource in a component bundle that holds the action handlers for that component. And action handlers are just JavaScript functions with a particular function signature. Beyond the basics, we talk a lot about controllers in this unit, and we know that the component itself is a view. We even mentioned the MVC or model view controller design pattern that's so common in web app frameworks. Is Lightning Components built on the MVC pattern? In a word, no. There are similarities to be sure, but it would be more correct to say that Lightning Components is View Controller Controller Model, or perhaps View Controller Controller Database. Why is controller doubled up in the pattern name? Because when interacting with Salesforce, your components will have a server-side controller in addition to the client-side controller we've worked with in this unit. This dual controller design is the key difference between Lightning Components and MVC. What's the distinction between model and database? In traditional MVC, the model is a programmatic abstraction, usually a class, between the underlying data storage, usually a relational database, and the rest of the application. In Lightning Components, there's no Apex class that directly stands in between at or enabled controller methods and DML operations. But then again, S objects are already an abstraction between your Apex code and the underlying storage layer. You can add calculation fields, validation logic, and even add fully programmatic behavior in the form of triggers. So, is it a database or a model? We say potato, but it's totally cool if you want to go with potato. Confused? Excited? We'll get you sorted on the details of server-side controllers in a later unit. Let's look at the Hello Message Interactive Controller in more detail and make that explanation a bit more concrete. Controller resources have an interesting format. They are JavaScript objects that contain a map of name-value pairs, where the name is the name of the action handler and the value is a function definition. Action handlers. The combination of name-value pair and specific function signature is an action handler. You'll hear or see the terms action handler, controller action, and controller function used interchangeably, and for the most part, that's correct. They almost always refer to the same thing. We're not going to worry about the exceptions in this module. 
Don't worry too much about the special format of the controller resource. When you click the controller button in the developer console, you'll get a controller resource with an example action handler already added. The one trick is, and you will get syntax errors if you forget, you need to put commas between action handlers. This is just basic JavaScript syntax, and we'll see the specifics in a bit. The actual handle click function is only four lines of code, but they might seem hard to understand at first. At a high level, it's simple. When the button is clicked, its action handler gets called, one. In the action handler, the controller gets the button that was clicked, pulls the label text out of it, and then sets the component's message attribute to that text, two. And the message of the day is updated, three. You look nice today. Simple, right? Well, because this is super important, let's break it down line by line. The action handler name followed by an anonymous function declaration. The important thing here is the function's signature. While it's not technically required, you should always declare your controller function to take these three parameters. We'll talk more about them as we go, but for now, these parameters represent the component. In this case, it's hello message interactive. Event, the event that caused the action handler to be called. Helper, the component's helper, another JavaScript resource of reusable functions. Remember that handle click is connected to our lightning colon button tag and its on click attribute. The event, then, is somehow clicking the button. Inside that event is the notion of a source, the thing that generated the event, which is the button itself. So, calling event.getSource gets us a reference to the specific lightning colon button that was clicked. What do we do now that we have a reference to the button? We look inside it and get its label, which is set on the lightning colon button in the component markup. For example, lightning colon button label equals you look nice today. Let's think about that a bit more. We don't have the definition of lightning colon button in front of us, but label is just another attribute, much like the message attribute we added to hello message interactive. You can call get on any component and provide the name of the attribute you want to retrieve in the format v dot attribute name. The result is the attribute value. Note that as in component markup, v represents the view, the component itself, but in this case, it's the lightning colon button child component, not hello message interactive. Think of it this way. Button clicked dot get v dot label taps on the shoulder of whatever component button clicked is and says, hey, give me v dot label. That component thinks v is me, looks inside itself, and returns the value of its label attribute. So now that we have a text string retrieved from the button, we just have one step left to change our message attribute to the new message text. Unsurprisingly, just as get reads a value from a component, set writes the value. However, let's notice one important difference. We called get on button clicked. The lightning colon button that's inside hello message interactive. We're calling set on component, the hello message interactive component itself. This is a pattern you'll repeat in virtually every component you create. Get values from child components, maybe do some processing, and set values in the component itself. The Aura Components View Controller Programming Model. Okay, gut check time. Is this making sense? For sure? If you just think so, maybe sure you've created the Hello Message Interactive component using the preceding code. It's one component, and copy and pasting the code takes two minutes. But being able to play with it is essential for understanding handling actions. What you've done here might seem very simple because it's not very many lines of code, but these lines of code illustrate some of the fundamental concepts of building apps with Aura Components. You can think of hooking up components to action handlers as wiring them up. Think of Hello Message Interactive as a simple electrical circuit. There are switches and there are light bulbs. The Lightning Components framework supplies the power. By itself, a switch might make a nice clicking sound, but until you wire it up, it's not very functional. You can have the trendiest Edison-style light bulb, but until you wire it up, it doesn't illuminate anything. And so it is with Aura Components. Way back ago, we said that the different resources in a component bundle are auto-wired to each other, and that's true. The wiring takes the form of the V and the C value providers. They're also automatically created and made available within your components, so your controller can reference the component and vice versa. But this auto-wiring takes place only at a high level, and hello message interactive between the component dot CMP resource and the controller dot JS resource. This is the green arrow in the following illustration. 
the wiring to hook up a specific lightning colon button component to a specific action handler, that is, wiring things that generate events, such as buttons, to the things that handle events, like a specific controller function, that's wiring you need to do yourself, which in fact, you just did yourself. These are the red arrows needed to complete a wiring circuit. Adding open curly bracket, bang, C dot handle click, close curly bracket, to the on click attribute of a lightning colon button component, number one, wires it up to a specific action handler. Calling component dot set, V dot message, comma, new message, number two, wires up the result of that action handler to the component's message attribute, which is itself wired up to the open curly bracket, bang, V dot message, close curly bracket expression. You can further think of the on click event as an electron flowing along the circuit you've created. If you haven't created a complete circuit, the event doesn't go anywhere and nothing happens. When you start wiring your own components, keep this in mind. Do you have a complete circuit? Are you sure? When in doubt, it sometimes helps to sketch it all out on a whiteboard or paper and confirm every connection. You'll wire together components, events, and handlers at a low and high levels, so often you'll feel like an electrician, or given the name of the framework, maybe Ben Franklin. Wiring things together is fundamental to the Aura component programming model, so let's do it in some more detail. After all, practice makes perfect. Function chaining, rewiring, and simple debugging. Our first version of handle click was three lines of code because we broke each step into the get process set pattern into separate lines. You can use something called function chaining to collapse those into fewer lines. Since you'll probably see this in other Lightning Components code, let's give it a whirl ourselves. Add the following additional code to your Hello Message interactive controller after handle click. Whoopsie! Did you just get a syntax error when trying to save? Remember earlier when we said you need to add commas between your action handlers. That's the issue here. Add a comma after the final brace, curly bracket, of handle click, as you can see at the end of handle click 2 in the preceding snippet. These action handlers do exactly the same thing as handle click in fewer lines of code. They do this by skipping intermediate variables, often by chaining directly to the next function call by adding that call to the end of the previous one, separated by period. This concept is most clear when looking at the differences between handle click and handle click two. Which style you prefer is a matter of personal taste and perhaps your organization's coding style. Your humble author prefers handle click two, separating the get and set, but not bothering with a variable for the button, which we only need for its label text. Of course, you can't verify that the new action handlers work until you wire lightning colon button to use one of them. By setting the on click attribute to open curly bracket bang c dot handle click two close curly bracket or open curly bracket bang c dot handle click three close curly bracket think of this as disconnecting the wires from one light bulb and then attaching them to a different light bulb it's that easy at that point you reload the app click one of the wired buttons and well it's the same by design isn't it how can we even tell which action handler is being called sometimes simple at best Let's add a bit of logging to one of our action handler functions. Now if you wire up a lightning colon button to handle click 2, you'll see a log message in your browser's JavaScript console whenever you click it. Yes, there are more sophisticated debugging tools, but printing things to the console is a time-honored debugging technique. If you want to output an object of some sort, wrap it with json.stringify and put your object in parentheses to get even more useful details. When you're after a quick peck, console.log is your friend. We won't cover those more sophisticated debugging tools and techniques here, but see resources for some great tools and instructions. Okay, Hello Message Interactive was stupid simple and has a hard-coded and relentlessly positive attitude. In the next unit, we'll work with something more complex and learn how to capture real user input. And since people in the real world aren't always so positive, we'll learn how to